He threw away my sandwich. My sandwich! What's up, Pam Fam? In America, it's Thanksgiving time, and one of my favorite shows is Friends. And <laughs> there's a really famous episode where Ross gets fired because he yells at his boss because he ate his famous leftover Thanksgiving Day sandwich. Come look in my office. Uh, some of it may still be in the trash. <laughs> What? <laughs> well, it was quite large. I, 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 I had to throw most of it away. You, 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 you threw my sandwich away. My sandwich. The most important part of the sandwich was the moist maker. Let's listen to Ross explain it. She puts a, an extra slice of gravy-soaked bread in the middle. I call it the moist maker. Moist maker. Moist maker. <laughs> I thought a gift to myself in 2020 would be to try the famous Friends Thanksgiving Day sandwich. I followed Sam the Cooking Guy's recipe for it and his recipe looked extra intriguing because there was some extra little like elevation stuff. Let's make the stuffing. Mmm, stuffing juices. Next up is the very critical gravy. Simma, 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 simma. Oh. Mix it up, baby, baby, mix it up. Next up, butter the bread. A one, a two, a three. Time to broil these babies. This cute little tomatoes. It's crispy. It's time to fill the sandwich. I'm so excited. The moist maker. Oh my gosh. I can't tell you what it looks like yet. Before I show you what's underneath the box, I'm gonna give you my tips. Tip number one. I didn't have vermouth, and this gravy was absolutely delicious. So if you don't wanna spend the money on it, or you just don't have it, you have kids, you don't wanna have alcohol, just skip it. Although I would be intrigued to see if it gets more delicious with it. Tip number two. <laughs> he said, not to butter both sides because that would be excessive. Guess what, we're in America on Thanksgiving. It's time to be excessive. I think you butter both sides, but you don't put one side under the broiler for as long. Mm -hmm. Tip number three, make sure that your layers are evenly distributed because I felt like my sandwich was starting to go like this if I didn't eat it soon. So, do small but even layers. And now, what you've all been waiting for, the final result in three, two, one. <gasps> oh my God, I'm so excited to eat it. I'm like scared to cut into this, it's so big. You're about to find out if Ross Keller was crazy or if it was worth losing his job over this freaking sandwich. The inside looks like. <gasps> Here we go. Look, it's so big. I'm not even gonna be able to get this in one bite. This is delicious. Oh my god, look at this. Oh, the moist maker. It is fantastic. Oh my gosh. It's messy, but she good. So you're here to find out, was it worth it? And my answer is, it's totally worth it. This was a really freaking delicious sandwich and a really unique twist on gravy that I think I loved and mostly because it was so different. I think I would lose my job over the moist maker. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Join the Pam fam. We're really awesome. Follow me on Instagram, Pam on Sunset there too. And I hope you all have a great Thanksgiving. Even if you're in a different country, you can just uh, have a great Thursday. <laughs> Bye. Oh my God, Alex is eating my sandwich. I gotta go. <laughs>